black and orange trim. Kansas in the blue uniforms with the red and white trim. Cowboys go from our right to our left. Oster tag against Reeves and the Cowboys control. Pierce to Owens. Andre will set it up. Man-to-man -man defense comes to the left wing inside to Reeves. Country spin, shoots, partially blocked, gets his own rebound, goes back up, misses, but he is fouled underneath. And the Cowboys, Bryant Reeves, did exactly what they have to do against Ostertag. He's a, he's a Kansas block leader, so you can't go right at Ostertag. He has a height advantage on country, so you're going to see country pump fake, duck in move on Ostertag, try to draw some contact. He's not only Kansas's top shot blocker, he's the top in the history of the Big Eight. That says a lot. There have been a lot of great players who block shots come through this conference. He broke Stacy King's record in the last game, had five of them. Reeves to the line, hits the first one. Cowboys lead 1-0. And so much of this game, Bill, will be determined on how they call this game. If the key players, if the key operatives are on the bench a lot because of fouls. Country looks it over again. Second shot's in the air. Got it. Cowboys lead it 2-0, and Kansas will bring it up. Jacques Vaughn met in the front court by Andre Owens on the right wing. Still dribbles. Now comes to Haas out front. Rutherford on him. Back to Vaughn on the right wing. Gets the ball inside to LaFrance. Knocked away by Pierce. Vaughn picks it back up to Haas right wing. Gets the ball inside to Ostertag. Back out to Vaughn on the right wing. 15 seconds left in the shot clock. Vaughn dribbles. Reeves tries to help him. The pass inside to Ostertag. Goes right to the hoop. Missed the layup. Reeves gets the rebound. And here come the Cowboys. Owens to Collins left wing. To Reeves at the high post, Rutherford right wing. Randy guarded by Haas, comes out to Collins, top of the circle. Drives into the paint, puts the jumper up, and got it. When the Cowboys get into half court, they're going to try to spread Kansas out and develop some one-on-one -on -one matchups like Collins had there. Cowboys up 4-0, Vaughn top of the circle, drives in the paint, feeds underneath. Haas misses the layup, but he is fouled underneath. Good ball movement as Vaughn went right to the hoop. And the foul is going to be on Terry Collins. Collins picks up his first person on first team foul. And there's what we said in the opening. You've got to be able to contain Vaughn. Easier said than done. When he can make a penetration and get it off to somebody inside. But on the other end, to kind of give you a little bit more on the Cowboy approach, they're going to try to spread the floor in the half court where they can work one-on-ones. And I don't think Randy Rutherford's going to have many open arc shots, but he may score from the 12 or 14 foot area tonight along the baseline. Pass will shoot two and misses this one. Listen to this stat. As a team, the Jayhawks shoot 64% from the free throw line, second worst in the Big 8 conference. Now, Haas is a decent shooter at 71%. Second shot's up, and this one he gets. Cowboys lead it 4-1. The Cowboys will see some kind of pressure here. Just token pressure here. One-on-one, -on -one, Vaughn and Owens. Andre gets the ball into the forecourt, guarded by Vaughn, comes to the left wing, goes to Rutherford. Randy turns and fires from three, missed it. Rebound tipped in the air, still tipped. Reeves finally comes down with it. And Bryant brings it back out to Pierce, to Owens, to Collins, right wing. Cowboys play on the perimeter. Terry over to Rutherford. Rutherford to Pierce, out front of the left wing. Drives baseline left, pulls up, can't shoot, looks for help, gets the ball to Rutherford, but it's stolen by Haas. Haas going to go coast to coast, goes up and gets the lay in. There's a turnover and good extending defense by Kansas. Made it too long a pass for Pierce to connect. Cowboys lead 4-3. Less than two minutes into the game. Owens, top of the circle. Comes to Rutherford out front of the right wing. Bounce pass, Reeves, baseline right turn, shoot, scores. Got him posted up, a great entry pass. All country had to do was turn around and shoot up over. Cowboys lead 6-3. Vaughn in front of the Cowboy bench to Pearson. Pearson drives against Collins. Bounce pass inside, fade away by LaFrenz is good. Rafe LaFrenz hits the bucket. Six.
into the front court. 13-20 left first half. Cowboys trail by one at 12-11. Vaughn out front of the right wing. Wants to go inside, and they're scared as he reaches over, commits the foul on LaFrenz, and Jason just jumped up and committed the foul. His first personal, that's 14 fouls now in the Cowboys. Cowboy basketball is brought to you by Jeep and Eagle for legendary performance value and affordability. Test drive the classic Jeep Cherokee at your Jeep and Eagle dealer today. Terry Collins back into the lineup with two fouls. Scare goes to the bench. Vaughn inbounds underneath his own basket. Does so to Pollard. Goes up right-handed and got the little jump hook. That's his specialty right there. Tough when he goes right at you. He's got those long arms. He gets over the, up and over your hand. Biggest lead of the game for Kansas at three. 14-11. Rutherford fires from three and he got it! Oh, the answer basket. The tray. We're tied at 14. Threw the ball away. And the Jayhawks threw it away. Cowboys will get it back. It was Pollard who was trying to get it to Vaughn. Vaughn had his back to him. Was running up court and the ball just bounced out at the scorer's table. Now Roy Williams is having words with Ed Hightower. They brought Jock Vaughn over there. I'm not sure what that's all about. The game is tied at 14. And now coming into the lineup will be C.B. McGrath, 5'11", 160, freshman out of Topeka, Kansas. He just comes in only to give Vaughn a blow. He's not a very experienced player. Pressure does bother him. And it looks like Vaughn, Vaughn caught, caught, yeah, it looks like he caught an elbow or something in the uh, forehead. He's got some ice on it. Andre Owens into the front court. Roberts on the right side. Reeves high post. Bryant goes to Collins left wing. Terry to Rutherford, top of the circle. Randy wanted to shoot the three, didn't. Instead, it's Reeves, baseline right back out to Owens. Andre from three, missed it. Rebound, Reeves. Back into the corner to Roberts, who almost threw it away. Owens goes high to get it. Collins drives in the paint feed. Reeves goes up. Missed the bucket, but Country is fouled as he goes to the hoop. And there, Bill, was a classic example of what the Cowboys want to do in the half court. They had him spread from side to side, had five different one-on-one -on -one matchups, and Collins was able to take his man off the dribble, get down into the paint, penetrate, draw the defense to him, and give it to Reeves. Oster tag back in, Pollard to the bench. Country with six points, two of two from the line. We're tied at 14 with 12.27 to go in the half, and Country will shoot two here. So far, it's everything we thought it would be. Yeah, these two teams really go at each other. Reeves first shot missed. And now Pierce is back into the lineup, and Andre Owens is going to get a breather. And Roberts will move into the point guard spot now. You know, you wonder when you have to work as hard, it looks like Bryant will not get any rest tonight. He's going to have to handle two or three people. It does tend to affect you when you go to the free throw line because it takes so much out of you when you're doing all that work underneath. Bryant will try it again. Reeves' second shot is up. Got it. Reeves with seven now, and the Cowboys are back up by one at 15-14, and Jacques Vaughn is quickly back into the lineup, replacing McGrath. I think he's got a Band-Aid or a little patch. Yes, he does up over his eye and he might have taken an elbow but you know in a game like this he's the ultimate competitor he's not going to sit over there bought into the front court rutherford now picking him up goes in the right wing and now there's a whistle and there's a foul and i think terry collins has just picked up his third as oster tag goes to the floor so terry collins his third personal and we're less than eight minutes into the game and that one hurts you know, that was a pretty good act by a 7-2 guy right there. Collins tried to get through the screen. Just a bare touch of Ostertag. He went flying like he got run over by a truck. Vaughn inbounds to Gurley into the corner. Out front to Ostertag. To LaFrenz on the left wing now is Vaughn. Vaughn guarded by Rutherford. He's going to fire a two-pointer. Missed it. Rebound Pierce. And the outlet to Roberts. And here come the Cowboys. Deontay into the front court of the right side to Pierce high post, Collins left wing, fires a beautiful pass oh. into Reeves who lays it in. Wow, what a bullet right there. Cowboys lead by three at 17-14. Vaughn into the front court, right wing. Into the corner on the right side is Thomas. Thomas comes to Gurley inside to Ostertag, and he walked with a basketball. A turnover there, the Cowboys will get it back. That's good defense by Brian Reeves. Cowboys are on a six-point run. We got a timeout, 11.41 left first half. Oklahoma State 17, Kansas 14. The best rebounding team the Cowboys have seen all year. Do a good job of stick back, and LaFranz is one of them. And the Cowboys winning that battle there, and the defense has taken over eight turnovers here between the two teams in the first 8-19 of this 
this game. He'll be a lot more for it's over. What about the three fouls already on Terry Collins? That changes your game plan defensively especially. Well, it means that, again, a guy like Keanu Roberts has to step up and make plays. We told about that, and he's going to have to make it done. Cowboys break the pressure. Pierce baseline right feeds Reeves underneath. Turn shoots. Missed it. Ball is loose and taken by the friends. And now the Jayhawks on the move. Vaughn out front of the left wing to LaFrenz at the top of the key. Pierce is all over LaFrenz as he came back in off the bench. Right wing is Gurley. Drives against Scare. There's a whistle. Three-second lane violation on Oster Tag, and the Cowboys will get it back. Oster Tag got pinned in there by Reeves and by Pierce and by his old man uh, LaFrenz. He couldn't get away from the traffic, and Ed Hightower with the quick three. Deontay Roberts gets it into the front court to Pierce right wing. In front of the Jayhawk bench, Reeves high post, scare left wing, drives baseline left, goes up, blocked by Oster Tag. Pierce comes back to get it. Welcome to the Big Eight, Jason. Yeah, he got that sent back in the same direction. Keontae drives baseline right, tries to feed it. Pierce has to go get it. Cowboys need to relax a little bit here. Pierce is covered, gets the ball to scare. There's a whistle, and the friends is going to be called for reaching in and that'll be his first personal three team fouls on the Jayhawks. Boy, that was, uh, they bailed him out. LaFrenz uh, bailed Scare out. Cowboys were running out of time on the shot clock and that was almost picked off by LaFrenz. Scare, I think, just the fact that he is so physical was able to get his body between the ball and LaFrenz and make him run into him. Owens back into the lineup for Deontay Roberts. Andre looks for help. Somebody help him. Gets the ball to Pierce out front. Hands the ball to Rutherford and back to Owens. And Randy just threw it away. They want to go forward with that ball, but I'll tell you, Kansas defense really extends you out. They brought that defense. Three or four blue shirts will play in defense at the head of the key. That makes it difficult to find any kind of penetration. So Randy had the ball go away, and it goes out of bounds, and Jason Haas takes it now, or Jared Haas, rather, on the right wing for Kansas. Bounce pass to Vaughn further on the wing, guarded by Owens. Jacques Vaughn dribbles once, gets the ball to Haas. Can't get the shot off. Goes back to Vaughn on the wing on the right side. Drives baseline right. There's a whistle away from the ball. And Jason Scare is going to be called for his second personal. I don't think Jason has seen the competition quite like this. No, he and he's uh, not shying away from the competition, however. But nevertheless, when you get in there, you've got to be a little more controlled because there's going to be a lot of that bumping inside. When you play a team like this, you can't lose your cool. Deontay Roberts in as Scare goes to the bench. Jason with two fouls, and that's six on the Cowboys. The inbound is to Oster Tag to LaFrenz, top of the circle. Vaughn left wing, guarded by Owens. Jacques Vaughn fakes the three, comes to Pearson. Pearson is cut off at the free throw line, comes to Oster Tag, high post. Vaughn left wing, great defense. Haas gets the ball out front. Inside to LaFrenz, back to Haas. 17 seconds left, drives, and a little scoop shot won't go, but Oster Tag is there for the slam. He gets his first points, and the Cowboys' lead is down to one at 17-16. And then Haas made something out of nothing. There was nothing going on the perimeter, so he just took it to the hole. Andre Owens, top of the key, a whistle away from the ball, and Haas has picked up a foul away from the ball. Doug Vaughn thought he had himself a steal while everybody was contemplating that foul. That's Haas's first foul, four team fouls. Cowboys inbound underneath their own basket. Lead 17-16, Oklahoma State does. 9.44 left in the half. Andre Owens has to come way out front to Pierce with the ball. Hands it back to Andre. Andre to Roberts. Keontae in the paint goes up. It's blocked by LaFrenz. Oh, boy. And now we go the other way. That's about three blocks already for the Jayhawks. Into the corner is half inside. Oster tag. Hook shot won't go. Loose ball picked up by Pierce on the rebound. They were all over Pierce's back that time. Owens into the front court to Pierce way out front middle of the floor. Cowboys lead 17-16 back to Owens right wing. Andre dribbles in front of the Jayhawk bench comes to the middle of the floor. Jacques Vaughn will pick up a foul for reaching in. That'll be his first personal and that's five team fouls now in the Jayhawks. Pretty heady move by Owens that time as he drove inside and really initiated that contact. Made sure that Vaughn would come and knock the, try to knock the ball loose and try to go through him. That was a pretty good job by Owens to initiate the foul. Pollard and Williams back into the lineup for Kansas. Ostertag takes a breather. Owens top of the circle. 
spins. There's a whistle away from the ball. Keontae Roberts has picked one up. And they're trying to get Randy Rutherford free on a back screen. They tried to have Roberts set the screen. Apparently moved his feet. Did not set the screen well enough because it was a curl move and Rutherford was coming off that screen. At 17 fouls now. So the bonus situation now for the Jayhawks. Oklahoma State leads 17-16 with 9.06 left first half and Jared Haas will go to the free throw line. He is one of two tonight, three points. Cowboys have led by as many as four. That was at four nothing to trail by as many as three. Pass at a one and one. Missed it. Ball is tipped out, but what do we got? A foul on the rebound. Pierce is playing like a madman since he came back in. He is really getting after it on the glass. He went up and got that missed shot, and that's a rarity there for Haas, although he's missed two tonight. B.J. Williams picks up the foul, his first 16 fouls, and so the Cowboys will get it back, and Andre Owens will walk it up. Vaughn will pick him up at midcourt. At the high post is Roberts, top of the circle. Keontae works against Pearson, dribbles to his right. Now goes to Rutherford in the corner. Bounce pass inside to Reeves. Country triple team. Tries to get it to Roberts. It's knocked away and stolen. Vaughn on the move. Great defense. Bouncer to half. Fires to three. Misses it. Pearson with a rebound. Has to come back out to Vaughn. Cowboys almost steal it. Pearson gets it back. Shoots the tray. Missed it. Pierce with a rebound. That interior defense. It's tough to find a, a shot inside against Kansas because they recover so well. Roberts out front. Kicks it back to Owens, left wing. Andre to Rutherford. Randy fires some three. In and out, won't go. Rebound is loose on the floor. Rutherford, what great hustle. Goes, I think it's going to go off of Randy. Yes, it'll be Kansas basketball. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Cowboy Basketball. Oklahoma State University basketball on 92.5. Hear every Cowboys basketball game all season on the flagship station for Cowboy sports. KOMA FM, Oklahoma City. Pass comes down, fires an air ball. You can hear the Cowboy fans love it. We go the other way. Roberts goes up, misses it. There's a whistle and an offensive foul is called on Keontae Roberts who went to the hoop. What's his again, second personal? How difficult it is to find any kind of opening in the paint. That is really one of the hallmarks of a Roy Williams team. Not only are they aggressive on the perimeter, they really make it difficult for you in the paint. You think the opening's there, they're quick to react, they come off their man, and all of a sudden there's a blue shirt. Kevin Miles into the lineup for the first time, replacing Roberts, and Vaughn will bring it up. Cowboys still lead by one, 7.54 left in the half. Pass, right wing. Worst against Rutherford. Gets the ball out front to Williams. Williams against Miles is cut off. Back to Hass. Hass gets it inside to Pollard. Little hook shot. Won't go. Reeves with another board. You wonder how tough it is. Only one bucket since the 1301 mark for Kansas. Reeves to Rutherford left wing. You just can't get the ball inside. It's impossible. Miles high post. Not without setting a hard pick somewhere. Miles backs it up. Gives the ball to Owens right wing against Vaughn. Now to Rutherford, Randy's open from three, turns, shoots, misses it short, gets his own rebound. Goes into the left wing, comes back to Owens, Owens to Pierce, right wing. Pierce has the ball knocked out of his hands, goes out of bounds, Cowboys will get it back. We're going to have a timeout. 7.09 left, first half, Oklahoma State 17, Kansas. Start winning the battle of the rebounds, 14 to 8 unofficially. Reeves with eight boards, Pierce with five. Turnovers, Oklahoma State 8, Kansas 5. And that's offset the uh, edge on the boards. But again, as the clock continues to run, the Cowboys are not losing anything on the scoreboard with Collins on the bench. And that's a big factor. Collins had the three fouls. He went to the bench with about uh, 10 minutes to go in this first half. So the longer they can buy time and not lose ground with Collins on the bench, the better off they'll be. Rutherford, Owens, Pierce, Miles, and Reeves are the five in there. Cowboys get the ball back at midcourt, and Andre will bring it in with 7.07 left in the half. Works against Jacques Vaughn. Goes in the left wing to Rutherford. Randy dribbles out, comes to Pierce high post. Pierce to Owens right wing. Cross court to Rutherford. Randy tries to drive his cut off. Can't get the shot off. Nine seconds left in the shot clock. 
Andre's going to try to make something happen. Spins in the paint, goes right to the hoop. Lays it in. It's a goal, can he Give it to Andre Owens, who gets the bucket. Well, that was a major league move by Andre Owens. He had the paint finally isolated and open. He didn't waste any time. Cowboys lead 19-16. Vaughn into the front court. 6.39 left first half. Vaughn guarded by Owens. Gets a screen and then gets it back to half. Top of the circle. Pass is trapped. Bounce pass to Pollard. Back to half. Fires from three. There's a whistle and he walked with the basketball before he got the shot off. Eddie Sutton made the call. Well, it was a delayed call by Wilco underneath. Wilco is the far official on the baseline. Has to come in and make the call. Dance is looking right at him and didn't make it. That's what drives you crazy. Greg Gurley back into the lineup now, and Hass will get a breather. They got two of the better officials in the conference working this goal, and Wilco and Ed Hightower, they are good officials, and they'll keep things under control. Rutherford, front court, guarded now by Billy Thomas. Man-to-man -man defense as Rutherford's running things. Bounce pass to Reeves out front. Oster tag all over him. Reeves at the high post, needs some help, dribbles out to Rutherford. Randy in front of the bench gets the ball back out to Owens. Owens inside to Reeves. Country works along the baseline. Gets the bucket. Boy, that is a tough shot. A long entry pass, but they had him spread. That's what he needed. Biggest lead of the game for the Cowboys at 5. 21-16. Ostertag. High post. Gurley left wing. And the crowd is coming to life. Vaughn drives against. There's an offensive foul against Jock Vaughn. Andre Owens took the charge. Andre did a nice little acting job, but he moved his feet well. And he has contained Vaughn the way we said in the pregame. He has not let Vaughn get by him on the dribble drive but once all night. And that kind of frustrates Vaughn a little bit. It keeps him from creating shots for others. 21-16. Cowboys by 5. 5.35 left first half. Owens. Picked up by Vaughn. Andre dribbles left-handed on the wing. Back to Pierce high post. Scott dribbles once, goes to Rutherford right wing. Inside to Reeves, there's a whistle. And a foul is going to be called, I believe, on Ostertag. Hanging all over Reeves. And I'll tell you what brought that on. Was good ball reversal, but Bryant Reeves is in there posting up as strong and as hard as he has all year long. I mean, he stuck that hip in on Ostertag and made Ostertag reach around and hold him. That's the 18 foul now on the Jayhawks, the second on Ostertag. And Brian Reeves, three of four from the line with 11 points tonight, will shoot a one and one. Cowboys lead by five, their biggest lead of the ball game. Country shot is in the air. Ribbed out, didn't get it. The friends with the rebound is knocked away by Miles, but he picked it back up. And now Kansas on the move. Vaughn quickly into the fourth court on the left side. Gets a screen, comes to the right wing. Owens has him. Vaughn wants to go inside, gets the ball to Ostertag, turns, shoots, missed it, Reeves with another rebound. And Bryant made him go right up over his head. Ostertag had a good look, but did not have much room to shoot. To Pierce on the right wing in the front court. Scott drives baseline right, is cut off, there's a whistle, and a foul is called on Gurley. Holding on to Kevin Miles, who was posted up in there. Gurley doesn't like that call at all. Roy Williams doesn't appreciate it either. And he points his finger at Danson. He got on Danson on the series before as he was running up and down the court. Roy Williams trying to intimidate Danson. The Cowboys are on a 10 to 2 run now over the last five or six minutes. And they're going to have to start making and extending the distance from the free throw line. Especially on these one and ones. You got to hit the front end. And Kevin will try that 76% free throw shooter. The shot's in the air. Missed it. Rebound is into the hands of Pierce. Oh, Scott's just been a monster on the boards tonight. Andre Owens, guarded by Gurley, goes to Rutherford, left corner, drives baseline, left, pulls up, puts the bucket up, missed it. Put the shot up and missed it. The rebound goes to Pollard. Thomas almost walked with the ball, and now it's Vaughn into the front court. Vaughn into the corner, firing from three and missing her. The Jayhawks, Reeves with still another board. Cowboys going to want a 20-second timeout to set something up here. We'll keep it here. As Oklahoma State has held Kansas to one field goal since the 13-01 mark. Now, the Cowboys haven't reeled off much themselves, again, on a 10-2 run. But, man, the Cowboys had 
two opportunities from the free throw line and couldn't hit the front end of a one and one and that's what comes can come back to haunt you hopefully it won't tonight but reeves and miles both missing the front end still the cowboys lead by five their biggest lead of the game at 21 16. we'll remind you your local oklahoma dodge dealers are proud sponsors of this oklahoma state basketball broadcast dodge and Shepard, the car that changed everything see one today at your friendly dodge dealer Deontay Roberts into the lineup for the Cowboys now. He replaces Kevin Miles, who I thought did an excellent job in there for the Cowboys. Took up space and made them work, made them guard him. You know, in years past, uh, he, he was not much of, of a factor. Now you're going to have a little zone action by Kansas and a boxing, uh, actually not a boxing one, but it looks like a diamond in one here. Owens out front. It's Vaughn out front, three men. In the back is a diamond shape, and then Gurley right on Rutherford. Owens out front. Now they've gone to the fact, let's let somebody else beat us. Andre forces one up, missed it. Reeves was there for the follow, but there's a whistle, and pushing off underneath is Bryant Reeves. Bryant was, appeared to be wide open on the weak side, but perhaps the reason he was is because he pushed to establish that position. Country's second personal, nine team fouls on Oklahoma State. That would be a 1-3-1, Bill, if they did not assign somebody to Rutherford. So it's basically a 1-3 with a chaser, and the Cowboys are going to have to figure out how to get that ball down along the baseline or below that 1-3 picket line. Rafe LaFrenz to the free throw line. We shoot a 1-1 one one here. He's 64% free throw shooter. He goes in and out, no good. The ball goes out of bounds off Gurley. The Cowboys will get it back. But we got a timeout, 3.57 left first half. Cowboys leading 21-16. Unofficially reused with 10 rebounds, Pierce with 6. Cowboys have 8 turnovers to 7 for Kansas. Scott Pierce, who's not played as well the last two outings, has really come on and helped the Cowboys body people around defensively, got a couple of key rebounds, and is playing about as well as he has all year. 21-16, Cowboys by five, under four minutes left in the half. Roberts into the front court. Now Owens top of the circle. Again, it's a 1-3-1, one, one. Rutherford baseline left, cut off, comes to Pierce. Pierce to Owens top of the key. To Roberts on the right wing. Gets the ball inside to Reeves, baseline right, jumpers way too hard, goes off of Rutherford, and it'll be out of bounds. Boy, country, that's the first bad shot that he's had. He just... Wasn't a bad shot, but it was way too hard. Again, they've got McGrath running on Rutherford right now. Much like Goldguard on Saturday, you think the Cowboys could take advantage of that. McGrath into the front court. Gets his screen and gets the ball to Pearson in front of the Cowboy bench. Bounce pass inside to Pollard. Forces up a jumper, won't go. Ball is tipped, still tipped. Reed comes down with it. Is he playing big oh, tonight? Oh, I tell you. The outlet to Owens, long pass to Roberts. Keontae goes up, misses the layup. The follow by Pierce is good. Pierce was right where he needed to be, and he went hard to the hoop. Cowboys by seven. McGrath into the corner now. To Haas, back out front to Pollard, high post. To McGrath, left wing. Gets the ball to Haas, top of the key. They want to go inside, he can't do it. Drives against Rutherford, then has the ball knocked away. Goes out of bounds, good defense by the Cowboys. Pierce playing half man around, was able to knock the pass away. Scott Pierce really stepping it up here tonight. And the Jayhawks inbound underneath their own basket. 17 seconds left in the shot clock. Cowboys up by seven. McGrath has to come way out front to Pollard. Pollard goes to Haas in the corner. Haas dribbles out, then gives it a give and go to Pollard, who goes up. Oh, makes a nice little oop de doo move and gets the bucket. Pollard had to work for that one. Just the second bucket for Kansas since the 13-01 mark. Cowboys lead 23-18, two and a half minutes left in the half. We expected it to be slow scoring, and that's what it's been. Owens, top of the circle, comes to Rutherford left wing. Randy comes to Pierce high post. Owens to Roberts. Keontae in the corner, back to Owens. Bounce pass, nice one inside to Reeves. Turn, shoots, and scores. Well, what a nice bounce pass from Owens. They had him spread out, and he had all kinds of room to find him. Cowboys by seven again at 25-18. The ball is almost stolen, but Graff gets it back to Pearson in the corner. He drives, forces it up, won't go. Reeves loses it. No, he's fouled by Pollard. Look at Reeves. Reeves is everywhere on the board. That time he staked out his position and made Pollard go over to the Ah, Pollard's first personal, 10 team fouls, and Country will shoot two. And now here come the troops in, Vaughn is in. Gurley is 
back in. And also B.J. Williams. You know, Country's had so many good games, so many fine, solid games this year. I'm not sure he's had a better half when you take into consideration what he's had to do by himself against the quality competition. This might be the best half he's turned in. Well, 13 points and at least 11 rebounds already. Country will shoot two here. First one's up. Missed it. Boy, he is... He is... Burton, three of six from the line. That's a potential five more points the Cowboys have given away here. And every point is precious when you play in Kansas. But you can't fault the guy because he's had to work so hard. And we're talking about fatigue that sets in at the charity strike. Second shot's up, and that's when he gets. 26-18. Cowboys by eight, their biggest lead of the ballgame. Vaughn to Gurley out front with a minute 50 left. Pearson turns, shoots a 15-footer, won't go. Reeves with a He's just right where oh he needs to be. God. Cowboys need to slow it down and get a good offensive set right here. Work some time off the clock and get a two. Owens into the front court. Cowboys lead 26-18 to Rutherford. Randy's open from three. No, missed it. Gets his own rebound and loses it. Now it's loose ball again. And I don't know what happened. Owens is on the floor. I think he's called for the foul, or is he? Well, he may be signaling where the ball's going right there because it went flying out of bounds. Doc Vaughn. Whoa! Doc Vaughn gets the foul. That should be number three on Vaughn, shouldn't it? That yes, was, it is. That was a you pick him right there. Oh, man. Roy Williams can't believe that one. Major League collision going for the basketball. And it was all really came about because Randy Rutherford hopped out his first missed shot or the missed shot and kept it alive on the floor. Andre Owens will shoot too. Andre looking for his first free throw attempt of the night. 79% of the year. Missed it. Boy. Come on, guys. Yeah, you, too many of these uh, shots are going awry and giving away points from the charity strike. Second shot's up. This one is good. And the Cowboys lead it now, 27-18, at nine-point lead, the biggest of the ball game. McGrath out front, goes into the corner, now it's inside to Pollard, back out to McGrath. On the left wing is Pearson, drives baseline, left pulls up, shoots, and got it. Boy, he's got a pretty shot. Pearson's really the only offensive threat in there if you can shut off Pollard. The rest of the guys on the court right now in the final one minute of the half are not what you would call offensive threat. 27-20, Cowboys by seven under a minute left in the first half. Owens to Rutherford in front of the Jayhawk bench. Brady comes out front to Pierce on the right side. Pierce has the ball knocked away, almost lost it again, almost lost it. Gets it to Owens, to Roberts. Keontae wanted to shoot, didn't. Now needs some help. Comes out front to Pierce. Pierce dribbles once, gives it to Owens. Andre in the paint with five seconds left. Oh! Gets the bucket! I'm not so sure he didn't slip on a wet spot there and almost lost his balance. 29-20. Cowboys by nine. 24 seconds left. It's Gurley way out front. On the left wing, McGrath. Worst against Owens. 15 seconds left. Owens comes out to get McGrath. He drives and turned it over. He That's turned it. the ball over. Tom, relax. Here's Toronto over here making the calls. I want You're to supposed to be announcing the game. I want to make sure that they saw that one. <laughs> You're never sure. Cowboys get it. <laughs> You're never sure. With seven seconds left in the half, and the Cowboys up by nine, and Kevin Miles is going to give Reeves a breather for the last seven seconds. Six buckets, six points, three buckets for Kansas. It's the 13-01 mark. <laughs> Inbound to Owens. Andre quickly into the forecourt. Going to go right to the hoop and feeds Miles, who goes up and lays it in. And there's a whistle and a foul. What a job by Owens to isolate for Miles. Owens took the defense to him. Miles just kept coming. And I mean, it took him two strides to kiss it off the glass. Miles gets the bucket. Sean Pearson gets the foul. And Kevin has a chance to make this a three-point play with one second left in the half. Of all people, Kevin Miles. But Owens has played really well. I think Owens won the first half matchup with Vaughn here tonight. Andre penetrated at the last second, fed Miles, who got the basket and was fouled by Sean Pearson. And 
Kansas wants a 20-second timeout. We'll keep it here with one second left in the half. Cowboys on top by 11. This is unbelievable. Just three buckets for Kansas in the last 13-01. That's great defense right there. <laughs> you, you really got excited on that play. Now listen, Tom, I don't want you officiating this game for the rest of the game. You're going to have to keep me belted into this scene. Well, I hit you once. I know it. <laughs> 31 to 20. Uh, Kevin Miles will go to the free throw line. And the Cowboys leave all the Jayhawks at the line. There's nobody there in the box for the rebound. Game. How could you not get caught up in this game right here? The Cowboys have clever played as well as they have all year long. But something to remember, even though the Cowboys are up by 11, this team right here can come back and score in a hurry. But I got to feel like this is as good a defense as Oklahoma State has played in one half all year long. I would agree with you there. Miles is finally ready to shoot. Cowboys up by 11 with one second left in the first half. Miles shot is out and missed it. But he does block the <laughs> attempted bomb from the Jayhawks. We've come to the end of the first half. About the only thing you complain about here is the fact that the Cowboys haven't been able to hit the free throws. So we're at the end of the first half. Oklahoma State 31, Kansas 20. The Bud Dry Halftime Show is up next. You're listening to Cowboy Basketball. We started to split. Now at the top of the circle to Collins' right wing. Terry goes back to Rutherford out front. 18 seconds left in the shot clock to Owens' left wing. Inside to Reeves. Country goes back to Owens. Andre drives baseline left, pulls up, can't get the shot off, comes back to Pierce. Nine seconds left in the shot clock to Rutherford. Five seconds left. Randy's going to drive baseline right, puts up a little jumper, missed it. Rebound tipped in the air. Collins comes down with it. Carry back to Rutherford. Out front to Owens. That's a good sign. Collins with the board. That's different right there. you got to have those to win a ball game. Inside to Reeves. Baseline left. Triple team. There's a whistle. And he walked with the basketball. I can't believe he was everybody all over Reeves. But Bryant trying to move around. Took a step. And the Cowboys turn it over. Kansas gets it back. Cowboys moved the ball well. Just couldn't find an open shot. Jacques Vaughn did not have a point in the first half. Brings it into the front court now. Guarded by Andre Owens. Right side of the floor for Roy Williams' crew. Out front is LaFrenz. Bullet pass in the left wing to Vaughn. Vaughn goes to half top of the key. Into the corner on the right side. LaFrenz inside to Ostertag. Turn, shoots, misses. Bryant Reeves has just picked up his third foul, and that is not good news. And don't you know, that was one of the strategies right there, one of the things drawn up on the board, is to get Ostertag isolated down low against Bryant Reeves. You get Bryant Reeves in foul trouble and get him in a passive role, a passive mode right here, you got a chance, if you can, just to pick up some points inside. Ostertag, 48% free through shooter, who shoot two here. Got the first one. It's 31-21, Cowboys by 10. We're just over a minute gone in the second half. Second shot's up, got them both. So Ostertag with four, it's 31-22. Cowboys by nine, and Owens will bring it up. The gallagher Iba crowd is reacting here. Andre into the front court, middle of the floor, to Rutherford right wing. Bullet pass inside to Pierce, lost control, it's stolen by LaFrenz. Another turnover, we go the other way, Vaughn. Left wing, drives into the paint, kicks it back out into the corner to Pearson. Pearson back out front to Hask, to Vaughn, to Pearson in the corner, back out front to Vaughn, back to Pearson again, to Vaughn. Vaughn tries to penetrate, can't, comes back to LaFrenz high post. Good perimeter recovery. Now Vaughn fires some three, misses it, long rebound, goes to Hask. Pass, a bullet pass inside, Ostertag lays it in. And that's again what that third foul did right there. Bryant has to be careful. Cowboys have been outscored now by four to nothing here in the second half. Two turnovers. Owens into the front court, left wing. Bounce pass inside to Reeves, turn, shoots, misses it, and he's fouled by Ostertag. And that's the way to get right back at him on the other end. Take it right back at the big man and try to put a little doubt and a little bit of uh, uh, passiveness in his mind that he just can't go at him like that. Oster tags third personal, and Roy Williams is saying that the problem was is Reeves is pushing around with his left arm. Well, 
Watch the push off is what Roy is saying. We really don't care what he's saying as long as the officials don't. Reeves will shoot two. Got the first one. Bryant with 15 points. Cowboys back on top by eight at 32-24. He was over there telling Ron Franklin and Big Vital about the push off. They can't help him, I don't think. Well, let's hope they can. Good point. We'll investigate that. <laughs> Reeves will try another. Bryant is five of eight from the free throw line tonight. Got them both. It's 33-24. Cowboys by nine. Vaughn quickly into the front court. Right side of the floor to Haas, top of the key. Haas bullet pass underneath to Pearson, who hits the layup. Got away from Terry Collins, and Sean Pearson gets the basket. He's got seven. 33-26, Cowboys. There's those back screens, and we talked about the down screens. It's so good at screening guys lose. Rutherford from three in the wing. No. Rebound goes to the friends, and the Cowboys are a little bit cold here. Vaughn quickly into the front court. Into the corner is Haas to Vaughn on the wing on the left side. Guarded by Rutherford. Looked like he walked with the ball. Haas gets it inside to Ostertag. Ostertag shoots an air ball, but LaFrenz gets it and puts it back in. And all of a sudden, we've got a 33-28 game, a five-point Cowboy lead. Cowboys, mate. We're contemplating calling a 20-second timeout, but decided not to. Cowboys have been outscored 8-2 here in the half. Collins in the corner, gets the ball into Reeves. Bryant goes up, shoots and scores. There's the, there's the patience that you need against Ostertag in the middle. 35-28, Cowboys by seven. Vaughn drives, sends Owens to the floor, backs up, fires the three, missed it. Rebound, fought for, goes out of bounds off of Reeves. Oh, boy. That was a you pick him right there. Now Pollard will come in, and he's going to replace Ostertag. Boy, what a war tonight. Cowboys lead by seven. 16-38 left in the ball game. The big men on both teams will sleep pretty well tonight. Yeah, I think so. Vaughn inbounds underneath his basket. The half fires from three. It's oh. a brick. Owens can't control them. Now he does get it. And he's going to push it into the forecourt. Goes to Rutherford. Randy drives back to Owens. Owens in the corner on the left side. Going to slow it down now. Wait for Country to get in the play. Pierce right wing. Bounce pass inside to Reeves. Country goes left-handed, lays it in. Oh, my goodness gracious. He just body powered out of the way. Cowboys up by nine at 37-28. Vaughn top of the circle. Guarded by Owens. Comes out front to Haas. Bounce pass is kicked away by Rutherford. And they'll reset the shot clock. Talk about two big buckets coming back. Kansas made a charge, cut it to five. Reeves gets a nice layup off an Owen feed. And then that time, they waited for him to come down back to court. They were waiting about 20 seconds for him to get back into the paint area. Once he got it, that left-handed hook. B.J. Williams in for LaFrenz, and Keontae Roberts is going to come in for Scott Pierce. Cowboys lead 37-28 with 16.04 left in the ball game. Vaughn inbounds underneath his basket. Does so to Haas, who just put it up over Collins, or rather over Rutherford. Hey, that's just a little sucker play right there. He looked like he wasn't even part of the play, and all of a sudden, the ball was in his hand. 37-30. Cowboys by seven. Owens, top of the key. Works against Vaughn. Bounce pass inside to Roberts. Goes right to the hoop and lays it in over Haas. And there's a great post up at this match right there. If Roberts will go down there and post, he'll have that shot all night. Vaughn in front of his bench to Haas. Cowboys lead 39-30. Back to Vaughn in the corner. Inside to Pollard. Back to Vaughn. Vaughn goes to Pollard again. Pollard turns, shoots a little hook. Won't go. Gets his own rebound and loses it. No one gets it. Andre pushes it into the front court. Now almost lost it in the corner, and Eddie Sutton wants him to slow it down a little bit. Now Andre finally dribbles out. Gee, man, he. Hey, settle down there, Andre. Come on, Andre. <laughs> Goes to Roberts. Keontes cut off in the corner on the left side. He's trapped. Comes back out to Collins. Terry from three. No. Rebound goes to Pollard. Bodies are flying everywhere. You know, they're going hard. Both teams really competing here tonight. Pearson in the right wing in the corner. Tries to dribble out, and Roberts is going to be called for the foul. Deontay's third personal. That'll be two team fouls on the Cowboys, and we've got a timeout on the floor. 14.55 left in the ballgame. Oklahoma State 39, Kansas 30. Eat their own basket. Jacques Vaughn will inbound. Owens, Rutherford, Collins, Roberts, and Reeves are the five in there. Vaughn gets the ball to Pollard in the corner on the wing. 
And now out front is Gurley. Vaughn on the left wing. Alley-oop and laying it in nicely was B.J. Williams. And it's 39-32. Cowboys by seven. There's that in interior picks and screens. That's why Williams was so wide open. Roberts out front. Collins left wing inside to Reeves. Back out to Terry. Can't get the tray off. Fires it underneath to Roberts. Keontae lays it in. Great pass, Terry Collins. That was, and a nice shot by Roberts. Going strong to the hoop. He took the contact and was still able to get the roll. 41-32. Cowboys by nine. Pollard turns down the shot. It's stolen by Owens. There's a whistle. And Andre Owens is going to be called for the foul. Jacques Vaughn was on top of Owens. Boy, that's and Andre's going to be called for the foul. That's a hard foul to call right there. Both of them have access to the basketball. It was kind of a no call from my particular vantage point but both players were going hard to the ball Vaughn would have had his fourth personal instead Kansas gets the ball right in front of us 41 32 Cowboys by nine 14 15 left in the ball game Vaughn top of the circle goes to the left wing Owen's still on him bounce pass inside it's knocked away and stolen Cowboys get it back Owens will bring it up Andre out front to Reeves. Bullet pass to Rutherford left wing in front of the Cowboy bench. Cowboys lead 41-32. Collins gives the ball to Roberts inside. Keontae goes to the hoop and is fouled by Gurley. And a great job by Collins. Once he was free on the overplay, he took it into the paint, drew the rest of the defense to him, saw Roberts all by himself, and Keontae again. I, I hate to sound like a broken record, but the fact is Keontae can get all his work done against this team down low because he is as strong as anybody they can put on him and he can create his own space with a physical play. Williams to the bench, LaFrenz into the lineup. Keontae will shoot two here, a 48% free throw shooter. Missed it. 41-32, Cowboys by nine, 13-50, left in the ball game. Yeah, the good news is the Cowboys are earning their way to the strike. They're not taking as advantage as they could. Did get that one, Keontae with five. It's 42-32, Cowboys by 10. And now it's Vaughn quickly into the front court on the right side. Cowboy crowd coming to life. Vaughn turns down the three inside his collar, blocked by Collins. And it goes out of bounds. Terry Collins got high as a kite that time to block the shot. Terry came from the backside, too. It went over three people to make sure he didn't get any contact to swat it away. Vaughn will inbound again underneath his own basket as the ball went out of bounds. 42-32. Cowboys by 10, 13-35 left in the game. Vaughn inbounds to LaFrenz, goes right up and lays it in off the glass. He's a big target, and they don't, they're not shy about going to him on that inbounds pass. 42-34, Cowboys by eight. Owens into the front court, comes to the right side. Vaughn picks him up, out front to Roberts, to Collins' left wing. Terry drives baseline, left goes right up and slams it home. And he got a great screen by Reeves. Reeves pinned his man, and Collins had nothing but open space. Cowboys by 10, 13.05 to go. Vaughn into the front court. The friend's right wing. Back out front to Vaughn. Looks like he walked with the ball. Left wing against Owens. Now goes into the corner. And Thomas fires a tray. Holy cow, did he hit that one. Billy Thomas with a tray. It's 44-37. That's a major league bucket right there because Kansas was on the rope. Owens. Top of the circle, Rutherford left wing, bounce pass inside to Reeves, turn, shoot, score. That's a post up, that's a clinic right there of hitting the postman. Cowboys lead by nine, 46-37, 12-25 left. Vaughn right wing, Gurley top of the key, left wing is Thomas. Drives baseline left, puts up a long jumper, won't go, the friends with the rebound, follow, no good, Reeves with the board. But he hands the ball off to Owens. The country's a little fatigued right there. Cowboys need a good offensive set here. They've got the lead and time on their hands. That was Pollard that missed that last shot. I said LaFrenz, it was Pollard. Collins out front of the right side. Rutherford right corner. Brandy dribbles out, gets the ball to Owens. Andre Owens goes right up, tries to feed it off, and it's stolen, but Roberts gets it back. Out front to Collins. Now Andre's going to set it up. Rutherford right wing. Gets a pick, fires some three, missed it. 
Owens gets the rebound in the right corner. That's the fourth time tonight, Bill, the Cowboys have come away with a missed shot. That one was kind of lucky, but they scramble for the other three. Rutherford drives baseline left, puts up a little jumper and got it. There's the creating of the shot along the baseline. Put it on the floor and created his own space. Cowboys back up by 11, 48-37. Vaughn, top of the circle. Left wing Gurley, he fires some three and got it. You said he could shoot it, Tom, and he hit the tray. It's 48-40, Cowboys by eight. And once again, they were in the knockout zone, but the three saves them there. And now on the left wing is Owens. Owens is guarded by Vaughn, comes back out, 10.57 left, Cowboys lead by eight. Roberts left wing in front of the Cowboy bench, Collins top of the circle, Terry drives, feeds Reeves, and Bryant walks with the basketball. Be a turnover. Eddie Sutton doesn't like it, but I don't think there really was much doubt about it. He walked with a basketball. We've got a timeout, 10.49 left in the ball game. Oklahoma State, 48. Kansas, 48. 50% shooting for Oklahoma State, 41 for Kansas. Cowboys still leading rebounds, 27-20. 12 turnovers for Oklahoma State, 9 for Kansas. And again, they seem to be in the midst of a run. Perhaps that timeout was good for Oklahoma State, but a couple of three-pointers. Again, Kansas was in that knock out zone when they failed by 10. Thomas got him back within seven with his three-pointer. Then they were up by 11, the Cowboys, and then Gurley hit the three to keep him alive. Cowboys have Owen, Scare, Pierce, Roberts, and Reeves in there now. And Andre Owens will pick up McGrath, who will bring it up. C.V. McGrath, a freshman out of Topeka, the Pearson left wing. Inside, there's Ostertag. He walked with the ball. And Ostertag hadn't been in there very long. It might have been a little cold, but Country moved him way out off the block. I mean, for Ostertag, he might as well have been a guard because that was way out of his range, and he just shuffled his feet. Andre will bring it up with 10.35 left. Cowboys lead by 8, 48-40 to scare right wing back out front to owens to roberts left wing base or bounce pass into the corner to reeves back out now scare right wing to reeves high post roberts left wing deontay's going to drive baseline left cut off comes out to pierce high post we got that one three chaser look here scare to pierce again seven seconds left on the shot clock scare from three got it jason scare from three oh man they don't expect jason scare to hit a three neither do we he's up by the Cowboys up by 11 with 10 minutes to go. McGrath left wing. Guarded by Owens. Drives baseline left. Is cut off. Gets the ball back to Haas in the corner. Pass to McGrath left wing. Back to Haas in the corner. He drives the baseline. Goes up and reverse layup is good. Nice move by Jared Haas. He's got seven. It's 51-42. Cowboys by nine. You know, Keanu Roberts did a nice job of closing out on Haas just before he had to make that drive because he was all open in the three points. Pierce area. in the corner shoots. Misses it. Roberts gets the rebound. And tries to force it up. Ostertag blocks it. And here come the Jayhawks. Pearson bounce pass to McGrath who hits the layup. Nice transition basket there. It's 51-44. Cowboys by seven. They won't go away, that's for sure. And we're going to take a 20-second timeout. The Cowboys are. And Pierce took a shot. I think he was too far out when he did it. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Cowboy Basketball. Oklahoma State University Basketball on 92.5. Hear every Cowboys basketball game all season on the flagship station for Cowboy Sports. KOMA FM, Oklahoma City. I want to remind you this game is brought to you in part by Swabit. Southwestern Bell Yellow Pages. 9.15 to go. 51-44. The Cowboys lead. And scare Bell the Cowboys out with that three-pointer. Up the lead to 11. But... They will score in a hurry. I think that's only about the second or third transition bucket they've had, so the Cowboys have played good transition D here tonight. Scare's fourth three-pointer of the year. Scare will inbound to Owens. Cowboys lead 51-44 with 9-12 left in the game. Owens into the front court. Guarded by Haas, comes to Scare right wing. Bounce pass to Pierce high post to Roberts top of the key. Inside to Reeves has a fight to get it. Turn shoots and got it. That was a tough effort by Bryant Reeves. He really fought to go get that catch. Cowboys by nine. McGrath quickly into the front court. Guarded by Owens. He's quick. Gets a screen. Comes to the left wing. Goes to Haas top of the circle. Bounce pass inside. Williams loses it. It's loose. But it goes off of Bryant Reeves on the floor. 
The crowd doesn't like it, but I think that was the correct call. You know, Phil, sometimes the hardest part of the play is to catch, to catch the ball inside, and Reeves really fought two or three people to catch that last pass, and then once he turned around, he was able to get the ball to fall, but he's working hard, trying to make himself big in the paint and make himself a big target. Randy Rutherford back in as Andre Owens goes to the bench. Jayhawks inbound underneath their own basket, get the ball to Pearson to half top of the key. On the left wing now is Vaughn Aliuka Ostertag, and he slams it home. He almost took the standard down with him. 53-46, Cowboys by seven with eight and a half minutes left in the game. Roberts into the front court, Hass is on him. Deontay gets the ball to Skier, baseline left. He's cut off, gets the ball into Reeves, who's triple teamed, and he is fouled. Tell you what, it's like a war in here. <laughs> you couldn't even see Bryant with the blue shirts that time. They were gonna make sure that Bryant was not gonna have a clear shot to the hoop that time. B.J. Williams picks up his second personal. Three team fouls on the Jayhawks, and he quickly goes to the bench, and Vaughn is back in, and inbounding the basketball to the Cowboys underneath their own bucket. Roberts gets it out front, and Hass is all over him, and Hass is finally gonna be called for the foul. That'll be his second. Well, they have it several to give here, yep. and it's not a bad move by Roy Williams. You try to be aggressive, try to get a steal, another quick bucket to get that deficit down to a workable order. So they've been aggressive twice. They had a couple to give. They still have a few more to give. Owens is back into the lineup. Roberts to the bench. Scare on the right wing. Goes cross court to Rutherford to Owens top of the key. They go for the trap. Rutherford out front. Back out front to Owens. Here's your classic now. 1-3-1 one, one trap. The Cowboys worked against this all couple of days here. Pierce tries to force it inside. It's stolen. Scott is having a hard time with the basketball now. Vaughn to Hass into the corner. He's piercing from three. It's an air ball. Reeves gets it. Wow. And I'm telling you, Rutherford and Owens collided and went out of bounds as they tried to block the shot. Mid-air collision right there. They both knew that Pearson was going to let it fly. Owens into the front court. Cowboys by seven with 7.35 left in the game. Cowboys, look at Randy Rutherford. Watch Scare back down there on the block where he can come up when the trap is made to offer some relief. Randy's going to fire from three. It's partially blocked. Reeves fights for it. And he and Hash both go to the floor. The possession arrow goes to Kansas. And Roberts is going to come back into the lineup and so is Terry Collins. And Scott Pierce, who played so well in the first half, is struggling a bit now. We've got a timeout. 7.22 left, Kansas. The Cowboys are going to have to turn on the D right here now. Kansas apparently feeling good about itself, making somewhat of a charge, and they'll have the basketball here on this series. 53-46, Cowboys by seven with 7.22 left in the game. And now Jacques Vaughn into the front court. Guarded by Owens. Bounce pass to Pearson in the left wing. Gets the ball inside to Ostertag. Puts it on the floor, turns, shoots, misses it. Oh, Reeves with the rebound. He's missed about three point blank shots as Reeves won't give up his position and making him shoot over the top of him. Owens to Rutherford out front on the right side. To Roberts in the middle of the floor. Keontae dribbles, goes into the paint, gonna go right, give it, oh, what a slam! What a move by Roberts! That's a major league play there by Keontae Roberts. Cowboys by nine, where has that been all year? He didn't waste any time, two shots, two quick moves, and he was at the hoop. Cowboys cry for the steal, and Terry Collins is gonna pick up his fourth foul. Boy, that was a major league move, and Keontae was able to recognize the lane was there right off the bat. And Reeves is gonna have to take a seat, okay? a cut on his knee taken care of because there's blood on his knee oh brother cowboys by nine with 639 left and terry collins has just picked up his fourth personal steve york and company will quickly put a band-aid or a, a wrap a bandage around his leg was that a major league move by roberts and again i thought he could be a key player and if you take him out to put that band-aid, now John Nelson's going to have to come in quickly, and Eddie Sutton may be forced to take a 20-second timeout if things go too long. I think the Cowboys already took their 20, didn't they? Now, well, Reeves can't come back in. It took too long. Worth a try. So John Nelson, the 6'11", 260-pound freshman out of West Fork, Arkansas, is into the lineup. The Jayhawks inbound underneath their own basket to Pearson, out front to Hass. Hass wants to go inside. He's going to try it. He does it. Hass. Nelson gets up off his feet and commits the foul. And 
John Nelson will pick up a foul. And the crowd doesn't like it, but again, I don't think there was much doubt about that one. Well, you knew. You knew who they were going right after John Nelson. Nelson having to commit off the bench to play one of, against one of the finer big men in the country. So the Cowboys were fortunate at that time it didn't go down. Now they're going to try to guard on this inbound play. Look at the way LaFrenz and Ostertag make two big targets on the throw-in. And Vaughn will inbound to Pearson in the corner out front to half top of the key. Half comes in the left wing to Pearson again. Turns down the three, now drives, and Keontae Roberts is going to be called for reaching in. And for Keontae, that's number four, and all of a sudden the Cowboys are in trouble. Four fouls each for Collins and Roberts. Cowboys gave up the dribble drive that time, which is one of the few times tonight that they've done that. That's the sixth team foul, so again the Jayhawks will inbound. 6.24 left in the game, Cowboys up by nine, and Jason Scare is going to come in for Keontae Roberts. Roberts played himself a whale of a four minute, didn't he? I tell you, that slam he made was about as impressive as anything we've seen all year. That's the Keanu Roberts that the coaches know is out over there if he'll just play consistently. Vaughn inbounds on the alley over went right through LaFrance's hands into the hands of Collins, and the Cowboys get the ball back. Oh, man. What a break. LaFrance was getting ready to jam it home. Rutherford, right wing. Out front to Collins. Terry drives, is cut off, goes to Owens. Andre from three, missed it. Rebound goes to Ostertag, who tiptoes along the line. We go the other way. Cowboys by nine, six minutes left. Vaughn left wing. Alley-oop inside, knocked away by Scare. Collins comes down with it. Hey, Scare was fronting LaFrenz, and he just dared him to throw it into LaFrenz, moved himself back in there and knocked it away. Cowboys want a timeout. 5.47 left in the game. Oklahoma State leading number two, Kansas. 55-46. This is Cowboy Basketball from Lear. have a basket, a point yet. All right, Cowboys will inbound here, and it's Scare, Collins, Owens, Rutherford, and Reeves. And Andre will bring the ball up with 545 left. Cowboys up 55-46. Some pressure in the backcourt. They go for the trap. Cowboys get it barely. Scare in front of us. Back to Owens. Owens inside to Collins who goes up, misses it, but the tip is no good. Reeves gets the rebound, turns, shoots, and he missed it, and he's going to be fouled. Boy, Terry wanted that basket bad. Terry angled a little bit too far before the Cowboys attacked that about as well as you could do, and the guy who made the play was Jason Scare, who came up the sideline, gave Andre Owens the relief he needed, got the ball back to Owens, and got it to Collins down low. That's where the mismatch was because all the defensive pressure was up on the end, front end of the court. D.J. Williams, third personal, five team fouls, and Country will shoot two here. First one's up. Got it. Sweet sound right there, Joe Riddle. 56-46, Cowboys by 10. Producer engineer Joe Riddle is cranking that sound up when it goes through the nets. Extraordinary. Don't tell him that. We'll have to pay for that for a long time. He wrote that out. For Second shot's up. Beautiful, got it again. 57-46, Cowboys back up by 11, equals their biggest lead of the game. Vaughn, left wing. Haas fires from three, missed it. Rebound tipped out, Reeves gets it. You know, Haas has had a tough night, but he had a wide open look that time. He hadn't touched the ball that much, though. Owens into the front court. Cowboys by 11, 5, 13 left in the ball game. Collins to scare in the right corner. Dribbles out, goes to Rutherford. Randy drives, puts the ball in 10-footer, didn't get it. Should have been, didn't go. Rebound goes to Pollard, to Vaughn. Vaughn into the front court quickly. Almost loses control. Williams alley-oop inside. Pollard goes up, misses, gets his own rebound, goes back up and scores. Good job by Country just to let him get the layup. Don't risk that fourth foul. Cowboys by nine at 57-48. Pressure in the backcourt, but Owens breaks it. Andre. Kicks the ball out to Rutherford. Randy from three. Got it! And it was Andre Owens who made the play. Unselfishly fouled Rutherford alone. Cowboys by 12. Biggest lead of the game. Pearson drives. There's a whistle. And I think Terry Collins is done. I think Terry has just picked up his fifth foul. And that one hurts. Terry fouls out at the 427 mark. And Keanu Roberts who had a great... Four or five minutes stretch will come in. Collins did a nice job away from the basketball, as all the Cowboys have done. The Cowboys have got good production from Roberts and Collins at that one spot. 
Randy Rutherford, three trays, has 11 points. And as you said, Tom Roberts is in. Collins goes to the bench, fouls out at the 427 mark with four points. Keanu's got the four fouls as well. Yep. So Cowboys could get a little thin in that spot if Kansas decides to punch away. Sean Pearson to the line. 64% free throw shooter. First one's up, and he got it. He's got eight. It's 60-49. Cowboys by 11. Confetti Sutton came back to Oklahoma State. These battles with Kansas have been down to the wire. I mean, hard-nosed stuff. Second shot's up, and he got them both. He's got nine. And now it's a 10-point Cowboy lead. It's 60 to 50, and Gurley is back into the lineup, as is Thomas. Pearson goes to the bench, and so does Hass. He's given up a little of the uh, sides and side for a bit more quickness, but the Cowboys can break the press. Reeves is going to have Pollard to handle. Reeves gets the ball to Randy Rutherford. It's a one-on-three, so Randy's going to have to slow it down as the Cowboys break the press. Owens comes to the middle of the floor. 4-18 left. Cowboys lead by 10. Andre comes to scare right wing. Into the corner on the right side is Rutherford. Randy dribbles left-handed. 17 seconds left in the shot clock. Back out to Owens. Inside to Reeves. Country turn, shoots, misses it. Rebound goes the other way as B.J. Williams gets the board. Vaughn quickly into the forecourt. Going to go right to the hoop and gets the lane as Reeves tries to pick up the charge. Didn't get it. And Vaughn gets his first point of the game. And the Cowboy lead now is down to eight. Nobody cut Vaughn off in the transition. Another basket for them there. But I'll tell you, the Cowboys were able to get the shot they wanted. They liked that matchup with Reeves on Pollard. It just didn't fall. It's 60 to 52. I don't know what Vaughn is talking about. He's pointing at the scoreboard. That's the right score. Yeah. Ed Hightower and Roy Williams laugh. The inbound is to Owens. Owens gets it to Rutherford. Randy slows it down. Now fires from three. Got it! Randy from three again! Randy was wide open, took his time, had a great look at the hoop. Cowboys by 11 with 334 left. 63-52, Williams high post. Left wing is Thomas, he fires from three and got it. He got that perimeter pick and Thomas can fire the tray. Yeah, that's his second, 63-55. Cowboys by eight, there's pressure in the backcourt. Scare gets it, bounce pass to Roberts, to Owens. Andre's gonna break the press, gets it into the front court with 3-10 left. Andre comes to the middle of the floor, 63-55, Cowboys by eight, approaching three minutes to go. Straight man-to-man -man right now, so the Cowboys can work some something in the middle. To Reeves, back out front to Owens. Andre gets the ball into Reeves again, country turn, shoots, scores, and he's fouled! That's where they wanted to go with it, Owens knew exactly, give it to the big man, they had him posted up one-on-one -on -one down low, and there was the matchup I talked about, they got Reeves on Pollard, and that's what they needed. B.J. Williams actually picks up the foul, his fourth personal. And Country now with 28 points will go to the line. Cowboys up by 10 with under three minutes to go. Williams had to come off his man because he knew Pollard couldn't handle Reeves one-on-one -on -one down low. And again, the Cowboys got for those few times this half, got that straight man-to-man, -man and they executed well once they broke the press. Bryant will shoot one on a free throw here. Balls up. Got it. He's got 29. Cowboys lead 66-55 with 2.52 left. Vaughn into the front court left wing, guarded by Owens, out front to Williams. Williams on the left wing to Thomas, and Pierce is back in there for the Cowboys. Thomas forces up a tray. It's a terrible shot, but the rebound comes back out to Vaughn. Vaughn to Hass. He fires from three, and he got it. Woo! Pass now with nine, and Cowboys lead rebounds 33-27. Oklahoma State 13 turnovers, and Kansas with 12. Reeves now has 18 rebounds. The last OSU player to have 20 was Don Yeoman in 1978. Country also has 29 points. Cowboys inbound against full court pressure. Roberts runs the baseline, gets the ball to Reeves. Country goes back to Owens. Andre will bring it up, but they'll go for the trap. Gets the ball to Roberts, Roberts to Reeves, hands it off to Rutherford, the right wing. Seniors really smart, playing well here, not rushing the shot. Pierce out front, and he is going to be fouled immediately by uh, Billy Thomas. That'll be his second, and that should be 17 fouls on the Jayhawks. And if so, Pierce will go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. He's 79% on the year. It'll be a one and one. You passed up your chance. 
by asking me, was I there for that? I know you were. I was. Don Yeoman against Stanford. Don Yeoman was a great one-on-one -on -one player, a left-hander. He could get and maneuver in the paint as well as anybody we've ever had. Scott Pierce, a one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, Scott. Got it. I was going to ask you what you were doing when Babe Ruth was born 100 years ago today. Well, I can't remember exactly. But you saw him play, and not many can say that That's today. That's true, and he was a great player. 67-58. <laughs> Pierce will try another one. Second shot's up. Got it. Good job, Pierce. Woo. Gets them both. Cowboys back up by 10 with 2.15 left. Two big free throws for Scott Pierce. Vaughn into the front court on the right side. Bounce pass out front to Thomas. A give and go to half who lays it in. Boy, they can play. And now another timeout for Kansas. We'll stay right here with it. Cowboys lead 68-6 back to play. Roberts runs the baseline. Gets the ball into Rutherford in the backcourt, guarded by Vaughn. Randy gets his trap, gets the ball to Roberts. Keontae will quickly get it into the forecourt. And there's a whistle and a foul is going to be called on Hass, who came up from behind his third personal. But again, Roberts is the guy they want at the free throw line. And Keontae was trying to get rid of the basketball, trying to get it into the hands of a more, perhaps a better free throw shooter. Cowboys were begging for that uh, intentional foul. Looks like Hass just went for his hand and not necessarily for the ball. 156 left. Cowboys lead 68-60. And Deontay here will shoot a one and one Eight team fouls now in the Jayhawks. Roberts one of two tonight from the line. A 48% free throw shooter. Shots up. Barely made it to the rim. Terrible shot. Rebounded by Pollard. Vaughn will bring it up. Vaughn into the front court. A minute 48 left. Cowboys up by eight. Vaughn gets the ball to Pearson, who goes right to the hoop and got the lay in. Sean Pearson with a basket. And a 20-second timeout for Kansas. 68-62. Cowboys by six with a minute 38 left. And the big glaring absence of Terry Collins, normally speaking, Keanu Roberts wouldn't be in the game because of his poor free throw shooting at this stage. But the fact that he is on the bench, the fact that he has to play and Collins has fouled out, that's the big, the big glaring part of this game right now. Not so much Terry's defensive ability, although he is a good defensive player and has done a great job. But Roberts is going to have to be strong with the basketball or give it up as soon as he can. They may have him take the ball out of bounds now where he won't have it in his hands to be fouled. So Keontae again will inbound with 138 left. Cowboy lead down to six. 68-62. Roberts again will inbound. You'd like for Owens and Rutherford to handle it until they're fouled so they can be the ones to go to the free throw line. All right, we're about to go. Rick Wolko hands the ball to Roberts again. It's full court pressure. Roberts looks for help, gets the ball in, gets it into Rutherford barely, and Randy calls a timeout. Boy, the Cowboys struggling just to get the ball in. A timeout with 137 left. Oh, boy. I think Eddie's asking Randy why he called the timeout. The ball was inbound. 68-62. Desperately trying to hold on and knock off the second-ranked team in the country. Roberts will inbound again. Deontay gets the ball to Andre Owens in the backcourt. Vaughn on him. Now they go for the... And he tries to dribble through. Gurley's going to pick up the foul. Roy Williams doesn't like that. Gurley picks up the foul. His third, 19 fouls. And Andre Owens will shoot a one and one with 132 to go. Boy, the Cowboys might have caught a break right there. We don't have the instant replay, but Andre Owens tried to split him. And boy, they just closed him hard. And it looked like he might have lost the basketball from the far side. At least that's what Roy Williams was trying to sell. Cowboys didn't send anybody else to help Andre Owens, and he had to take it himself. Yeah, I think that may have been a break in Cowboys' favor. Owens to the free throw line. Andre 79% on the year, one of two tonight. Cowboys just 13 of 21 from the free throw line. Come on, Andre. First shot's up. Just a rebound goes to Pollard. Cowboys can't make a free throw. 128 to go. Cowboys up by six. Pass into the front court. Passes inside to LaFrenz, back to Hass. 
Drives, now gives it to LaFrance. Looks like he walked with the ball. Pearson comes down with it. And Pearson's going to turn and shoot a tray. It's an air ball. And it's loose and picked up by Owens. And now Andre is fouled in the backcourt by Hass. And that'll be 10. And it'll be two free throws for Andre Owens. And that'll take some of the pressure off. You got to go back to the start of that series, though, right there. And Randy Rutherford chased Hass inside the three-point line. He wanted to shoot a three. Put him inside that area where he kind of got disoriented. He didn't know whether he wanted to shoot or pass. Got it out to Pearson. And I mean, Pearson's had a tough night. He didn't even draw iron on that one. Andre Owens to the line to shoot two. Some of the pressure is off, as you said. But Andre missed it. Boy, he's one of four tonight. And Eddie Sutton just sits back in his chair and says... We got to make a free throw, fellas. But just one free throw turns it into a three-possession game for Kansas because the Cowboys are up by six. So some of the pressure off, but Andre's going to have to sink this one. 68-62, Cowboys by six, 109 to go, and he did get it. Andre with six points at 69-62. A seven-point game with 107 to go. Vaughn quickly into the front court on the right side, guarded by Owens. Bounce pass to... Pearson, Pearson to half, he fires from three-point range, misses it, rebound fought for, loose ball, Hass gets it again. Hass gets the ball to Vaughn, Vaughn drives into the paint, goes to the hoop, there's a whistle, there's a foul on the Cowboys, and that stops the clock with 48 seconds left. Right now, all the Cowboys have to do is drive them inside the arc, they can't beat you with the two, they can only get, make up any kind of moves with the three, and the Cowboys three times have driven pass and then Vaughn inside the arc to make them do something. Andre Owens, his second personal eight team fouls. Vaughn will go to the free throw line. What's the matter with Owens here? I don't know, unless he got shaken up on the play. I didn't see anything, unless he's got some blood again. If he does, yep. yep. Steve York's back to work, so this will be a big problem right here if they have to 48 seconds left. Keep him on the bench. You don't want Owens on the bench when you're trying to break the press. Cowboy training court desperately trying to get him fixed up here. I don't even know for sure where he's bleeding. Looks like Jason Scare is going to have to come into the lineup, though. Maybe in the mouth or the nose there. He's got his back to us, so we can't tell. I didn't see it. It happened. 48 seconds left. Cowboys up by seven. Looks... Well, they're going to work on him, and I can't see it. Cowboys are fortunate, however, that it is a free throw situation right now. Jock Vaughn will shoot a one and one. He's 69% on the year. This is his first attempt tonight. Ball's in the air, and he got it. Boy, he's a cool customer. He is that, but I would think if things hold on right here, he would be the first to admit that Andre Owens in their first matchup got the best of him tonight. Owens did a great job on Jacques Vaughn. You, you don't realize how tough he is until you see him in person. Vaughn will try another here. 69-63. Cowboys by six with 48 seconds left. He got them both. Two pressure free throws. 69-64. Cowboys by five with 48 seconds left. Owens is going to come in. And he's going to replace Scare. Woo! You got another shirt? You, now, they're going to have a discussion as to whether he can, who can make the last substitution. Andre Owens cannot check in. <laughs> well, there's a woman behind me I thought was going to hit the ref and then hit me first. She got a little upset on that one. And inbounding the ball will be Roberts. Gets the ball to Pierce. Scott tries to dribble. He is trapped, and he is fouled in the backcourt by Gurley. And for Gurley, that's number four, and Pierce will shoot two free throws with 44 seconds left. But this is great strategy by Kansas, and really all the Jayhawks can do to stay in it. They've been doing this really from about the two-minute mark down, hoping that the Cowboys will give them life at the free throw line. But once again, when you got your over the limit, you have two shots there. It takes a lot of that pressure off to have to make the one and one. And Andre Owens gets a chance to come in right now. The foul is not on Gurley, but is on B.J. Williams, and he fouls out with four points at the 44-second mark. Who said this was it? They're not going to be easy. Did I tell you that at least once? Yeah, okay. but I kind of figured that. <laughs> I missed when you could figure that one out. 
Pierce will shoot two here, Scott, two of two from the line. Cowboys lead 69-64, 44 seconds left. First shot's up, Pierce got it. Wow. Scott Pierce, three big free throws here in the last two minutes. 70-64, Cowboys by six, 44 seconds left. He'll try another one. Got him, Pose. Did you, did you bring it? That's the shirt. I've already gone through it. 71-64, Vaughn into the front court, 39 seconds left. Ball goes out of bounds, kicked by Pierce by Owens. Owens, and so they'll have a reset again, but now it's still a three-possession game for Kansas. 38 seconds left, Cowboys lead 71-64. Shirley inbounds to Vaughn, who will go to work. Vaughn to Hass, fires some three. Oh, he got it. What a shot by Hass. Good night. That's 15 points for him. Roberts, Rutherford, Owens, Pierce, and Reeves are in there. Roberts will inbound. Cowboys need to go the length of the floor. Lead by four with 33 seconds left. Protect the basketball and hit the free throws now. Roberts runs the baseline. Needs to get the ball in. Does so to Reeves. There's a whistle. There's a foul. And Ed Hightower has called a foul, I think, on Reeves. No. Gee, Mane, on Jacques Vaughn. Good night. Don't do that. He was hauling on the Reeves almost before the, the play actually was initiated. Almost before the ball even went in bounds. And good move by, by uh, Roy Williams. Not but one-tenth of a second ran off the clock. Somebody hurry that clock away. Gee, start it up. Andre Owens to the free throw line where he is two of five tonight to shoot two here. Cowboys lead 71-67, 33 seconds left. First shot's up and he got it. The play, the foul was away from the play as everybody was looking to Reeves and Vaughn just grabbed on a hold of Owens to get a foul to stop the clock and make him do something on the other end. 72-67, Owens will try another. He got them both. Big free throw, 73-67. Cowboys by six. Vaughn quickly into the front court. Going to go coast to coast, tries to feed it, goes out of bounds, it's off the Cowboys. 26 seconds left. Cowboys lead by six. Well, that was a horse race down there. They're going to watch on the cheap bucket underneath. They don't want to give up an easy lay-in. Vaughn inbounds underneath his own basket. Gets the ball to half, fires from three, went off the side of the backboard. Reeves gets the rebound, there's a whistle, there's a foul, and this one is on the Jayhawks. Well, that ball, Hass had absolutely no time to catch and shoot. He took it in his hands, put it up, tried to get a prayer to drop, and hit the side of the backboard in big country, who has been all over the place. I don't know if that was, he's in his 20s yet, that might have been his 20th rebound unofficially. I would think it would be. 73-67, Cowboys by 6, 22.6 seconds left. Country goes to the free throw line where he is 9 of 12 tonight. Cowboys struggled having missed two straight one and ones. Owens only hit one of two at 109, but they've hit four in a row. Reeves will shoot two here. First one's up. Got it. Bryant with 30 now. It's 74-67, Cowboys by seven with 22 seconds left. This last minute has taken an eternity. Second shot's up, got it. 75-67, pressure in the backcourt, 20 seconds left, pass into the front court. Forces it up from three, missed it. Kicks it back out to Pollard. Pollard to Pearson. Pearson to Gurley. He fires from three. Missed it. Reeves with a rebound. That'll do it. And there's a foul called on Pollard underneath with nine seconds left. The Cowboys are going to win this one. What an effort by this group right here. They have taken the second-ranked team in the country, and they will take over first place, albeit only halfway home. But the Cowboys, that's the turn, will lead the conference with a 6-1 record. Who would have believed that about a month ago when the Cowboys lost at Kansas State? Not too many people, probably including us. Bryant Reeves to the free throw line. We'll shoot two.
First one's up and he got it. Boy, what a night for country. 32 points. And a nice effort right here. If he makes this one, Eddie Sutton's going to send Ben Baum in. So Reeves can be recognized by this crowd that was really stayed in this game from start to finish. Overrated. Listen to these. I don't know about that. Country hit them both. Now listen to the end for Brian Reeves. now. Vaughn comes down, fires from three, missed it. Rebound, Pierce who gets way up there, and he's going to be fouled by Gurley, and Gurley fouls out now at the three-second mark. And the Cowboys have hit eight straight free throws in the last 45 seconds, and that's what you got to do when you play in a team like this. They make you play for 40 minutes. You can't get away and get an easy one against this club. Scott Pierce will go to the line with three seconds left. The Cowboys up by 10. We'll go to 16 and 6, 6 and 1 in the Big 8. Kansas will fall to 17 and 3 and 6 and 2. Well, you better bring three or four shirts from here on out. I got a feeling I went through two tonight. <laughs> you know that. We're going to have to go buy one every game day just in case. Pierce to the line. Boy, Scott hit 5 of 5 from the line, 78-67. Cowboys by 11. Second shot's up, and he got them both. Ten in a row down the stretch from the free throw line. With three seconds left, Kansas gets the ball to Thomas, who will do a finger roll and get the roll in. He's got eight. There's .2 seconds left. That will do it. And the Cowboys win it, 79-69. Roy Williams and Eddie Sutton shake hands at midcourt. A huge win for the Cowboys. Number 24 knocks off number two. Our final score, Oklahoma State 79, Kansas 69. Our Cellular One postgame show is up next.